Oh, it's just Notre Dame in a max school. The Irish will roll. Not so fast. You never know with Notre Dame. Uh, I'm fighting Irish playing another max school. This time, Notre Dame playing Miami of Ohio. We're going to talk about this matchup in a, in a preview video here with Tim Hyde. Folks, please hit the thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Head over to blueandgold.com for much more previewing this matchup. So, yeah. 3.30 p.m. Eastern time kickoff. Game's on NBC. Notre Dame hosting Miami of Ohio. Tim, let's dive into your three keys for this matchup. First is kind of just what I opened this video with. Get your mind right against this Mac school. Mike, this is the most important thing for Saturday is get your mind right. Get ready to play. And I, I know we talked about this on our show the other night. Um, I, I fully expect it. Uh, they, they learned a pretty good lesson. From the players to coach freeman the coaches and they're when you hear them talk especially after the game in purdue uh, listen to all those fellas they they know what happened against northern illinois and i don't think they're gonna let that happen here at home against miami of ohio chuck martin a heck of a football coach was at notre dame obviously was their oc on their title run in 12s coming back for the second time so uh, these guys are going to be a focused football team come out here and uh, just, you know, just lay some hats around. And most, and the other thing, you know, we've talked about is, I mean, they're, I mean, they got to dig themselves out of a little, a little mini grave, so to speak, if they want to get back in the playoffs. And it's that stupid coach's cliche, right? One game at a time, but it truly is one game at a time with this football team. So just claw. Yeah, we, you know, I mentioned a week ago how they're pretty much out of sight, out of mind in the national media. Let that be. Just take each Saturday as they come moving forward and um, just handle business. And, you know, started with Purdue and now round two here with Miami of Ohio. So game number four on Notre Dame's schedule, already a quarter of the way done. And it'll be a little bit more than that after game four. But, yeah, Tim, you're the O-line junkie. So your key number two is game number four in a new O-line. Talk, talk to us about this. Yeah, it's funny because we sit here and we're like a new O-line, yet you're got. 13 game starter Pat Coogan, 10 game starter Rocco Spindler coming in. But it is a new group, so to speak. You know, Ro Rocco and Pat obviously were the guards last year, so they've never played next to each other. You know, you got Sam Pendleton, the redshirt freshman, playing next to Coogan. You know, they've never played next to each other. Uh, you, know, you know, Rocco and Emil have worked uh, together on the right side for really the last year and a half in practices and scrimmages and things of that nature. So but it'll be their first game action. And it's gonna be interesting to see because I hey I think Billy Shroud's gonna be an All American before he goes to the NFL. Ashton Craig's at that level as well, so you got two NFL football players you're gonna miss. But does that experience? I mean, we talked about this. And I know you've mentioned as well. How many how many programs in the country have injuries and you replace them with 23 you know, career starts amongst two guys? So do they kind of come in there and just say, hey, let us you know gray hairs here, the seniors who've been through some wars you know, last season, you know, lean on us. We're going to come out. We're going to play with some energy and play for Ashton and Billy. And it always comes down with those five guys. It's communication, but more importantly, trust. So hopefully Rocco and Coogan, who've been through it, hey, lean on us, trust us, listen to the communication from Pat Coogan calling out the calls, and especially the protections is the most important thing in this game. So it's going to be interesting. Game four, a brand new O-line. The two crusty vets coming in to replace um, Ashton and Billy. So I'm looking forward to seeing how these five mesh together against Miami. Okay, key number three, Denbrock and Riley. What's up part, with this one? Part four. I mean, this is this was my number one key heading into the season because we, you know, we we got a brand new OC and a very experienced offensive coordinator, a, a quarterback who, I mean, heck, man, he he was he's been out for 11 months, and all of a sudden now now he's going into his first you know his fourth game back from an injury. We haven't talked enough probably about that and you know injury going back to last year and, and what he's missed. So yeah, this is only the fourth time these these guys get to take the field together. But what is this going to look like? Um, I've gone back and rewatched the AM a handful of times. Heck of a ball game. Heck of and Paul the flow. You could tell Deb Rock just managed that. NIU flip a coin, you know, who who is to blame, so to speak. It was 18 things it felt like fell in. And then you got Purdue. They came out and just steamrolled them together in that first half. Put up 35 points on offense, 42 as a team, and uh, let the backups enjoy the second half. So what are we going to get here? And I think, lastly, Denbrock, hey, after a training camp, 
three games together, two road trips together also. He's got to know what he has in right. He's got to know what his strengths are. Use those strengths. And at the end of the day, just go out and get a W and get ready for Louisville. Let's take a look at Odd Shark. So last week, and you got to remember, Notre Dame was a, we, it was a 59-point win. But we were thinking, just win by one. Just beat Purdue, and they go out and win by 59, which is wild. Odd Shark had Notre Dame 41-13 win. Okay. So I was like, all right, they, they had a big win there. They've been all over the place, but we always we always love Odd Shark. This, this week, 41-19, to 19, that has Notre Dame winning, Miami of Ohio covering that 28-point spread, over under at 43 and a half. Uh, so Tim, what's your, what's your score prediction? I'll give mine after yours. Uh, before I get into the score, I think the most important thing is, is Al Golden is the defense. I think, you know, we've talked so much about the offense, Denbrock, Riley, Leonard. We haven't spent enough time talking about the defense and this defense, the more this season, I think goes on, we're going to think about 2012. I think this team is going to be led by the defense controlling the clock, running game, timely passes every now and then. Not a lot of huge passes in 2012. We all remember the Tommy Reese to T.J. Jones to beat Stanford, the big bomb from Golson to Chris Brown against Oklahoma. Outside of that, it was running it and playing defense. So Al Golden, this defense, just do what you did last week. They didn't let Purdue breathe. Even in the AN game, they controlled the heck out of that game. So – I want them to go out and just dominate this thing right from the get-go. Mike, I might be crazy. No, I'm going to go 49 to 10. 49 to 10? Yes. Okay. So, my of Ohio played, I mean, no cupcakes so far, I mean, for their standards, right? At Northwestern, they lost 13 to 6, and then uh, hosted Cincinnati, I believe, lost 27 to 16. Before the Purdue game for our magazines, when I did – we have to do our predictions for the, the week after, if that makes sense. I said 34 to nine. I'm just going to stick with it. Uh, Tim, I am with you that I think Notre Dame is going to steamroll them. But when is what we ever think accurate with, with some of these games in Notre Never. Dame? I mean, just what wild three games to start the season. Like this is just stuff that you can't make up. But that's that's what we got. I got 34 nine. Tim's got 49 to 10. I would lean what Tim's thinking. Um, that Notre Dame would cover the spread. Which but, means, Mike, it's going to be 23-18. Yeah, yeah. Please don't <laughs> say that. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. Folks, please hit the thumbs up, of course, on this video. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Tim and I will be live moments after the game. I mean, we're putting on the ties with three minutes left. We're getting ready um, to go live on the YouTube channel. So lock right into this YouTube channel. Go to blueandgold.com in the meantime. Again, hit the thumbs up, and, and everyone, we'll catch you next time.